I want you to experience a bit of a brain exercise today, and you're going to experience what it's like to detach an unwanted feeling from a past memory. So what I want you to do is just temporarily close your eyes for me, and I want you to picture a memory of something that's happened to you in your mind. Now, I want to keep this very lighthearted, so nothing too crazy, but maybe something embarrassing that's happened to you, maybe something that's happened at work, or if maybe someone's annoyed you doing something. But I want you to be able to picture this memory quite strongly in your mind and also elicit an emotion to it as well. Now, once you've got that, I want us to give it a label. So I want you to give it a title that if we were to reference that title, you would know we are talking exactly about this memory. So it could be a very, very simple title, maybe like the park, school, my parent, Bob, doesn't matter, but just give it a title. Now, with your eyes still closed, so if in case you've opened your eyes, I want you to just close your eyes again and I want you to picture again this memory in your mind and I'm going to ask you a couple of questions about it. So first of all, this memory that you've got, is it a picture or a movie? It's a movie, okay. Great. And is it subjective or objective? So by that, I mean, is it first person or third? Are you seeing it through your eyes or is it an out of body experience and you're watching it from the side? It's a first person, okay. Great. And does it feel near or far? Feels near, okay. And how vivid is this memory? Is it in focus or out of focus? In focus, great. Great. And lastly, out of 10, how strong is the emotion for this memory? A seven, great. So I'm gonna put my notepad down and just open your eyes for me. And I wanna just set up the eye movements that you're gonna be doing during the exercise. So I want you to keep your head perfectly straight and leveled and I want you to be just looking at my fingers. Now I'm gonna move my fingers in three different axes and for this, before we do the exercise, you're gonna just experience where your eyes will need to be positioned. So first of all, I want you to look all the way to your left, keeping your head perfectly still and also don't worry if my hand goes off the screen the important thing here is that you know which direction my hand is moving in. So I want you to look all the way to the left, head perfectly still, eyes all the way to your corner. Now I want you to look all the way to the right, head still, eyes all the way to the corner. Perfect. Next, I want you to do the top left, so looking all the way up diagonally. So as you can see, my eyes aren't necessarily looking at my hand, but I want your head to be still and looking up diagonally. And then we're gonna to go to the opposite corner. So down to that bottom right, head still, eyes down diagonally. Perfect. Next, head still and looking up to the top right, might feel a little strange, but I want you to look up to that position. And lastly, down to the bottom left, head still, head looking forward, but eyes looking diagonally down. Perfect. So I want you to just close your eyes again for me. And in a moment, I'm gonna get you to open your eyes again. And when you do, I want you to be following my finger, keeping your head perfectly still, and your eyes moving in those three axes, the three directions my fingers will be moving in. And if your mind wanders, as you're holding on to this memory, just bring your mind back to focusing on this memory. 
So I want you to open your eyes again for me as soon as you're ready, as soon as you brought that emotion as strong as possible for this memory. And we'll now, we'll get started. So keeping the head still, look all the way to your left, all the way to your right, all the way to your left, that's it. To the right, to the left again, to the right. If your mind wanders, just bring it back to this memory. That's it. All the way to the left, all the way to the right, all the way to the left, to the right. Okay, great. Now we're gonna go and do top left. So all the way up, keeping your head still, looking all the way up, holding onto this memory, down to the bottom corner, top corner again, and bottom corner, hold onto this memory. That's it, hold onto this memory. Holding onto this memory. If your mind wanders, just keep bringing it back to this memory, but keep following my fingers. That's it. That's it. Okay, now we're going to go top right, down to the bottom left. There you go. That's great. Head still. Keep holding on to that memory. Keep holding on to that memory. That's it. Just keep holding on to that memory. If your mind wanders, bring it back. Keep thinking about it. Following my fingers. That's it. There you go, last one. And back to the middle. Just have a breather for a moment and then close your eyes for me. And I'm gonna ask you questions again about this memory. So first of all, is it a picture or a movie? It's a picture. So it's changed, so picture. Is it subjective or objective? So again, is it in first person or third? Third person, okay. Great. Does it feel near or far? Feels further away, okay. Great. And is this memory vivid? Is it in focus or out of focus? Blarier now. Okay. And lastly, out of 10, how strong is the emotion for this memory? A four. Okay, great. So it has dropped from seven to four. It was also a movie. It's now a picture. It was in focus. It's now blurry. It felt near, it now feels further away. And it was first person, and it now feels third person. So we're going to do this round one more time. So you know what to expect and what to experience. So I want you to close your eyes for me once more. Think about this memory. And this time, if your mind wanders whilst you're following my fingers, allow your mind to do so. Don't worry about bringing the focus back. So once you're ready, open your eyes and follow my fingers. Great. So all the way to the left, all the way to the right, all the way to the left, to the right, all the way to the left. That's it, keeping your head still, the right. That's it. There we go. Keeping your head still. Keeping your head still. Thinking about that memory. But if it mind wanders, just allow it to. Great. Okay, we're now going to go top left. Great. Bottom right. That's it. Keep looking. Far corners. There you go. There you go. Keeping your head still. Try and think about the memory, but if your mind wanders, just allow it to. There you go. 
That's it. Keeping your head still, just following with your eyes. Great. Okay, we're now gonna go top right and go the opposite direction. Top and then bottom, top and then bottom. That's it. Just keep following my fingers with your eyes. There you go. That's it. Nearly done. And back to the middle. Okay, I'm now gonna ask you these questions again. So you can just temporarily close your eyes for me and we'll see if things have changed once more. So first of all, is it a picture or a movie? Picture, great. And is it first person or third person for you? Third, great. And does it feel near or far? Feels even further, great. And how vivid is this memory? Is it in focus or out of focus? Out of focus, great. And lastly, how strong is that emotion for this memory? A three, great. So we brought that emotion from a seven to a four, to a three. Now, this was just an experience, but in the comments below, I would love to know how this worked for you. I'd love to know what label you use for your memory. And on those rounds that we did, what numbers out of 10 did you get? And if you wanna properly experience integral eye movement therapy for what you've just seen was just more for entertainment and certainly not a representative of the real thing but if you want to experience integral eye movement properly then do reach out for a consultation and you can experience it firsthand what it's like working on more important memories that will make even bigger and more impactful changes to your life. So like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope you got an interesting experience out of this.